Hey guys, this is Airsoft NCT, and today let's answer the question, is the JG G36 any good anymore? Does the body still shine and glisten in the light? And is the gearbox still as reliable as it was way back when? And the truth is, not much has changed. You can watch any of those old videos, and the information and specs are gonna be about the same. However, as someone who uses G36s in most of my loadouts, I wanted to give you a bit of a personal opinion on how they hold up in 2023. The box is about the same, but the body feels almost a little bit cheaper than I remember. It still retains the ambidextrous selector switch and that folding stock, but nothing feels as strong as it used to. Maybe it's because I'm not 11 years old anymore, but this thing doesn't have that same heft that it used to. Nevertheless, this AEG still retains that classic G36 feel. Removing the handguard and inserting a battery is still exactly the same, where you pop out that front pin, slide that handguard off, and you see your connector, as well as a fuse. What's nice about these versions that I don't really remember on the older versions is that we have a metal barrel here. Maybe it's because I had a G36C that I never got this full length barrel, but it's not half bad. The battery I'm using for this is a 7.4 volt 25 discharge rate AEG battery that slides in relatively easily, a lot easier than the old 9.6s would. Let's hear how this thing sounds with that 7.4 volt LiPo battery. I'll be honest, it didn't surprise me. It sounded about the same as it used to. Definitely a crisp trigger, but nothing too impressive. I do like that they now included a quick change spring system in the gearbox, which is definitely different. So that shows that something did happen on the inside. And just like it used to be in the ejection port is your hop up adjustment, where you turn it up for more hop or down for less. This gun is advertised as shooting about 360 FPS and the company did provide me a sheet for when they did their testing before they sent it to me. And it looks like it's hitting about that 350 FPS range, but I can't really tell based on this handwriting. Now for some personal opinions. Well, I do like that the selector switch is very crisp and that the stock is the correct C-length stock for the KSK impressions. I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of the body. And again, while it shoots well, it's a standard AEG. I believe I picked this one up for about $100 shipped from this website, which I will link down below. So I guess for the money, it isn't half bad. If you're looking to pick up this particular AEG, check out some of the other options you may be able to find. I'm very happy with my Ares body and the classic army ones are pretty solid as well. However, if you're just picking this up for nostalgia purposes and because it's a solid entry level AEG at a solid price, I would say go for it. Who knows? Maybe down the line you can upgrade this thing to be an absolute beast. Anyway, that's enough 2010 Airsoft for today. This is Airsoft NCT and we will see you guys in the next video.